Picture yourself beneath the fiery leaves of a Japanese maple, caught in the swirl of Tokyo's lively districts, or perhaps in quiet reflection by a Kyoto temple. You've set your sights on Japan, a nation that has mastered the art of weaving together the old and the new, the tranquil and the bustling, in an unforgettable symphony of experiences. Vucation presents the absolute best Japan itinerary. 10 days. Preparing. Careful planning will ensure your experience is smooth and enjoyable. Always pack comfortable walking shoes, as exploring Japan involves a lot of walking. Don't forget a universal power adapter for keeping your devices charged, as Japan uses Type A and B plugs. Money management is another key aspect. Although Japan is increasingly accepting of cashless payments, it's still very much a cash-based society, especially outside of major cities. Consider exchanging your money into yen before arriving or withdraw cash at ATMs, at the airport or in 7-Eleven stores around the country. Check with your bank to make sure your card is accepted at Japanese ATMs. Staying connected is a priority, so consider renting a pocket Wi-Fi device or purchasing a SIM card upon arriving. If you plan on traveling across multiple cities, consider buying a Japan Rail Pass for unlimited travel on Japan Rail trains. Now on to the itinerary. Day 1 – Tokyo – The Metropolis Where Past Meets Future Start your adventure in Tokyo, a city that defies definition. Visit the Meiji Shrine in the morning, an oasis of calm in the bustling city. Then head to the nearby district of Harajuku, the heart of Japan's youth culture, to explore Takashita Street and its vibrant shops. Afterwards, head to Shibuya to see the famed Shibuya Crossing, often cited as the busiest intersection globally. Enjoy the view from the second floor of Starbucks, a great vantage point to watch the organized chaos. For a bite of traditional cuisine, go to the Tsukiji Fish Market, the largest wholesale fish market in the world. Try the freshest sushi at Daiwa Sushi, one of the top sushi bars around. End the day by catching a glimpse of Tokyo's skyline from the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Building. Day 2 – Tokyo – A Day for Culture and Shopping Begin your day at Asakusa, home to Tokyo's oldest temple, Sensoji. After enjoying the architecture and history, wander down Nakamise Shopping Street, a stretch known for its traditional local snacks and souvenirs. In the afternoon, head to Akihabara, the hub for electronics and otaku culture. Visit Yodobashi Camera, a massive electronics store. Then explore the multi-story anime and manga stores, and don't miss out on experiencing a themed cafe. For dinner, check out Tokyo Ramen Street in Tokyo Station. With eight renowned ramen shops gathered in one place, it's a haven for noodle lovers. Day 3 – Hakone – A Dip in Natural Hot Springs from Tokyo, take the Romance Car Express train to Hakone, known for its hot springs, natural beauty, and the view of nearby Mount Fuji. Once there, take the Hakone Ropeway and visit the Oakudani Valley, an active volcanic zone. Next, visit the Hakone Shrine, hidden in the forest and standing by the lake. It exudes tranquility. You may want to take a pirate ship tour on Lake Ashi, which offers serene views and a chance to spot Mount Fuji if the weather is clear. End your day at a traditional on at one of the many Ryokan, traditional Japanese inns in Hakone. Stay overnight for an authentic experience and enjoy a kaiseki dinner, a traditional multi-course Japanese meal. Day 4 – Kyoto – Temples and Traditional Streets Travel to Kyoto via the Shinkansen, an experience in itself. Start your Kyoto journey with Kinkakuji, the Golden Pavilion, a Zen temple covered in gold leaf. Next, head to Nijo Castle, famous for its nightingale floors that chirp when walked upon. For lunch, try yudofu, a hot tofu dish popular in Kyoto, at Junsei, a well-loved restaurant set in a traditional Japanese garden. In the evening, take a stroll through Gion, Kyoto's famed geisha district. It's a delightful place filled with tea houses and traditional wooden machia houses. Day 5 – Kyoto – Arashiyama and Fushimi Inari Shrine Start the day in Arashiyama, an area known for its bamboo grove. Walking through this serene bamboo forest is like stepping into another world. Also visit the nearby Tenryuji Temple, a UNESCO World Heritage Site with beautiful gardens. In the afternoon, head to Fushimi Inari Shrine, known for its iconic Torii Gate pathway. It's a sight to behold and a must-visit destination in Kyoto. For dinner, dine at Gion Karyo, a restaurant that offers beautifully crafted kaiseki meals in the heart of Gion. Day 6 – Nara – A Journey Back in Time 
Travel from Kyoto to Nara, Japan's first permanent capital. Begin your exploration at Nara Park, home to over a thousand freely roaming deer, considered messengers of the gods in Shinto religion. Next, visit the Todaiji Temple, one of Japan's most famous and historically significant temples, housing the Great Buddha in its main hall. After that, explore Kasuga Taishi, Nara's most celebrated shrine, surrounded by a mesmerizing, lantern-lined path. When hunger strikes, stop in Edogawa, a local favorite, to taste unagi grilled to perfection. Day 7. Hiroshima – Reflections of History and Peace Take a Shinkansen to Hiroshima. Upon arrival, visit the Peace Memorial Park and Museum. This place serves as a solemn reminder of the atomic bombing, but also as a symbol of enduring peace. Take a ferry ride to Miyajima Island, where you'll find the Itsukushima Shrine and its iconic floating Tori Gate. After exploring, try the local specialty, Anago Meshi, a dish featuring broiled conger eel over rice at Yamadaya. Osaka, the Kitchen of Japan Travel to Osaka, a city that lives up to its nickname, the Kitchen of Japan. Begin with a visit to Osaka Castle, an iconic landmark surrounded by a moat and park. Then explore Dotonbori, a lively entertainment district known for its eccentric atmosphere and large illuminated signboards. Try takoyaki and okonomiyaki, local delicacies, at Kreoru, a popular spot. In the evening, go to the Umeda Sky Building and take in the view from the Floating Garden Observatory, an open-air circular rooftop with panoramic city views. Day 9. Day Trip to Kanazawa, the city of samurai and geisha. From Osaka, take a day trip to Kanazawa. This city is famous for Kenroku-en, one of Japan's three best landscape gardens. Also visit the historic Higashi Chaya district, where geisha have entertained people by performing dances and playing Japanese traditional musical instruments since the Edo period. For lunch, try Kaga Cuisine at Suruko, a restaurant offering meals made from locally sourced seasonal ingredients. Don't miss out on a visit to the 21st Century Museum of Contemporary Art before heading back to Osaka. Day 10. Osaka. Farewell and shopping. On your last day, why not indulge in some last-minute shopping? Visit Shinsaibashi, a district known for its high-end boutiques and international brand outlets. If you're a food lover, also explore Kuramon Ichiba Market, known as Osaka's Kitchen, for an array of food products and fresh ingredients. For your farewell meal, dine at Kani Doraku, a crab restaurant with a mechanized crab sign, a popular symbol of Osaka's Dotonbori district. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever been to Japan? If not, do you think you'll ever get there? Let us know in the comments section below.